Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about degree of freedom. So, this topic was taken from Unit 7 in the subject Introduction to Nursing Research and Statistics for BSc Nursing Students. This video is also useful for MSc Nursing Students and Post Basic BSc Nursing Students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Definition of degrees of freedom. So the degrees of freedom in a statistical calculation represent how many values involved in a calculation have the freedom to vary. I repeat the definition. The degrees of freedom in statistical calculation represent how many values involved in a calculation have the freedom to vary. For example, if there are five samples, okay, so when you are going to calculate the degrees of freedom, so your sample size is five, okay, so the degree of freedom calculation formula is n minus one, so five minus one, so four samples. 5 minus 1 is 4. So, 4 samples have the freedom to vary. So, in the next uh, thing, I will be explaining about the formula as well as uh, how to calculate the degree of freedom and uh, what inference it is going to have on the represented data. Okay. So, the degree of freedom can be calculated to help ensure the statistical validity of various tests uh, like chi-square test, t-test, F test, all these chi square tests, T test, F test have been detailedly discussed in our channel playlist. You can watch it in our channel playlist. These tests are commonly used to compare observed data with data that would be expected to be obtained according to a specific hypothesis. So, when you are testing a specific hypothesis, the data what you have calculated, the results will be compared by means of the degree of freedom. So, let us see the formula for calculating degree of freedom. The statistical formula for calculating the degree of freedom is DF. DF is nothing but degree of freedom is equal to capital N minus 1 or sometimes they will be returning as small n minus 1. Small n means sample size is less than 30. Capital N means sample size is more than 30. That is the difference. So, n minus 1. Okay. Where n is the number of observations or number of values in the data. That is the sample size. For example, if the sample size is 15, 1, 5. So, your degree of freedom is 15 minus 1 which is 14. So, this is the formula okay the degree of freedom is nothing but which is equal to the formula is n minus 1 where n is the number of observations or the sample size minus 1 for example they have given uh, four x values that is a uh, 15 comma 30 comma 25 comma 10 so now you have to calculate the mean what is mean x bar is equal to summation of x divided by n so summation of x means you have to add all the x values that is 15 plus 30 plus 25 plus 10 how much what is n how many samples they have given four samples so 15 plus 30 plus 25 plus 10 divided by 4 is equal to 20 using this formula so when you are adding everything 15 plus 30 plus 25 plus 10 so and you are dividing it by 4 you will be getting the answer 20 then you have to find out the degree of freedom so how many samples i have told n is equal to four samples okay so what is your degree of freedom 4 minus 1 you so your degree of freedom is 3 okay so here what it indicates means that in the given data set there are four observations out of those four observations or four samples um, three samples ha are having the degree of freedom to vary so three samples are having the degree of freedom to vary with the average mean with average mean 20 okay when that mean remains 20 there are chances for three samples to get varied okay so that is the meaning for degree of freedom so which i have explained by means of this example 
so once you have calculated degree of freedom whether it is okay is it so no you have to compare this degree of freedom in the critical value table so in the critical value table either you can have in statistics books and all no at the end they will be giving is a table t table chi square chi table then uh, f table like that and all they will be giving otherwise you can uh, see in google okay you can download it you can see in google images everything these tables are available okay so you have to compare the calculated value with the given degree of freedom suppose if the degree of freedom is 3 you, suppose if it is a chi square you have to see in um, df3 at 0.01% level of significance or 0.05% level of significance or 0.01% level of significance or 0.1% level of significance like that it goes on so you have to compare you have to compare the calculated value with the table value so to find out the table critical value you have to use at what degree of freedom you have to first calculate the degree of freedom and from that degree of freedom only you have to see the table value so once you are comparing it then only you can tell whether the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected or research hypothesis is accepted or rejected is by means of calculating the table value uh, comparing the table value with that of the calculated value which you can do only by means of degree of freedom okay Hope this video has given a clear explanation to you all. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. One thing I want to tell our viewers, this question has been asked for 2 marks. Okay, 2 marks in February 2022 question paper uh, which was taken from Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences, Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and I card. If you still have any doubts, feel free to post your doubts in comment session. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.